welcome back to my channel. I have another bag for you. I'm going to review this one. I already have a few of these, but this color was too good to pass up. Everything I already own is very neutral. And I actually have a few more, but this one was really special and I was so excited to see it. So I told myself I wasn't gonna review any more Rad Rev bags in a row. I was like, we gotta change it up a little bit, but then I saw this one and I was like, oh, I, just, I have to do it. So let's get into this. This is the Rad Rev crossbody. I'm gonna give you all of the details. We will talk about textures, we'll talk about color and then also I do believe this one is still up on the site so if you want to get this bag in particular it should be available. This packaging is so cute. Look at this. So fun. Really digging this. Okay and then we will also talk pricing. We'll talk textures, materials, durability. We'll talk about, um, I'll give you up close shots. I'll give you on the body shots so you can see what this bag will look like on a real person. So you can get an idea of size. That's my baby and the dog. We got a dog, you guys. We have a puppy. He is four months old and his name is Rusty. We're trying to change it to Nico, but he's pretty attached to Rusty. So I don't know, we'll see. We might not change it. We might just stick with his name. Oh, but he's so cute. Rusty! Hold on, you have to see this dog. Come here. Hi. You want to say hi? Oh, here he is. Here he is. This is Rusty. He is not a golden doodle, even though he looks like he's a golden doodle. He is a King Charles. Thanks, Lizzie. He's a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel mixed with a poodle. Oh, peace out, peace out. And he's adorable and we love him too much, especially the toddler. She's... Okay, okay. So I am also going to be unboxing the card wallet, which I have been wanting to, to get for a while. I will say for what it is, I was like, this is, seems a little expensive for what it is, but everything I've ever bought from Red Rev has been really high quality and durable. And so I was like, well, we'll try it out. And I passed up the black, I passed up, I passed up but when I saw this color, I was like, oh, okay, I'll buy it. This is the color that I wanted. This is the color I waited for. So I think this will go with either or any of my other Rad Rev bags because they're all pretty neutral, but this is not. So I'm going to open this first and I'll give you guys lots of close-up shots of this. But oh, it was really pretty in the pictures. We'll see how it looks in person. Oh, that's pretty. I will say the purple is more understated than I thought, but I actually really like that. It's a softer purple, um, more of like a frosty, faded lavender color. It's beautiful. It goes with these purple balloons. Don't look too closely at this. <laughs> Balloon arch is a little sad. Let's take the sticker off together. And do know that when you purchase a Red Rift bag, if you take the sticker off of the buckle, like on these bags, if you take this, the protective film off of it, then they are not eligible for return. So just note that when you're opening it. Make your decision first. Okay, I, I am impressed. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking like a little like target sized card wallet. This is not that, this is much bigger, but it is supposed to fit in a mini. So I will show you, I will show you this inside my Rad Rev OG, inside my Itsy Ritzy and inside my sling bags. So you can get an idea for the size. Let me just pull up my measuring tape and I'll let you know the dimensions of this. And I'll show you what it says on the website too. So I will pop up right here what it says that the website says for dimensions. And then when I look at it, the front is just over five and a half inches wide. Length, it is about four and a half. It's a little bit under four and a half inches. I like that there's a spot for your change. 
that is nice. I'm not gonna show you guys packing this up. I mean, it's a wallet, you have a good idea, but also there's just too much personal information on all of my cards, <laughs> so sorry. I am impressed. This is actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be based on what I was seeing in the pictures. It's a lot bigger, the quality is really nice. It's very thick. Um, it feels kind of like a suede. It's actually very soft. It's a matte texture to the leather. There is some variation, like a little bit of, I don't even know what you would call it, but there's a variation to the, the color, to the lavender color. It just looks like there's faded spots, but in a nice way, like it looks really good. The metal hardware on this is gunmetal. It's that dark gunmetal, which looks really good against the lavender. I do like that. The stitching is all very, it's top notch. Nothing is coming undone on this. I see no problems at all. I like this extra touch of this checkered little pocket right here. And it is just a soft fabric. So I'm curious if this will get dirty. It seems like that would probably get dirty, but I, I bet you could just toss this in like a garment bag and wash it in the washing machine. I've never had anything of my Red Rev bags, all of them clean up very nicely. And they don't actually seem to get dirty, really, so that's nice. All right, let's look at the star of the show, the matching bag. I'm really excited about this bag. Guys, <laughs> I have too many of these. I have way too many of these, but they're just, just really handy, and I like them so much. They go with every outfit. Oh, guys. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love that the seatbelt strap material and the zipper, like the fabric right along the zipper, are the exact same purple. They look so good together. The thread, all of the stitching, as always, is perfect. I love the braided pulls on these. And then all of the studs and the hardware, the buckle and the zippers and the D-rings on the sides are all gunmetal. I would say don't sleep on this. If you see this bag, this came out a year ago and I saw it and I really wanted it. And I was like, well, right now is not a good time. So I waited and I'm so glad she brought it back because I was honestly sure that I had just lost, I lost my chance, <laughs> but I didn't. So let's talk about dimensions and size on this. It does come with one of these do not eat packets as well as a little foam insert to keep the shape of your bag. I actually do keep these sometimes for storing them so that they'll keep their shape. Or if you're traveling with these bags and you're bringing multiple and you're packing them in your luggage, it is nice to have them be able to hold their shape, but they're not necessary. I don't have them in all my bags and those ones are fine. So this interior is so fun. I like the checkerboard. It is the same fabric on the interior that you see on that one spot in the wallet right here. I like that touch of just that it's a matching set. I enjoy that. Okay, so this fits in here beautifully. Here we go. That's the wallet. And then let's also look at this wallet in a couple of other bags. Oh, I gotta put the strap on first. Lucy got something wet all over my chair, so that's great. Oh, this is so pretty. I know you can buy other fun straps to go with these, but I, gosh, I really just like the matching moment. This is so cute to me. I like the lavender. I just wanted to continue on, you know? Let's look at this wallet inside a few other bags. This is, this bag is so perfect. I'm just gonna wear this. For a minute. Also, I did get this keychain that I've been waiting for the perfect bag to put this on. I am a huge Walt Disney, like the man himself, fan. I just think he was incredible and such a great, such a great person who really displayed determination, optimism, um, and he was just. He just knew how to bring magic to everyday life, and I love that. I love all the things that he stood for. I love how he was just so, he was so persistent with his, with his vision of what he was going to create, and he did it, and I just admire that so much. Oh, 
dog, how cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we have our Mickey Mouse lemon. It's so cute, and I'll leave this story about this room. I bought this from a shop on Etsy that I found, like fingerprints on it, but it is so cute. We're just gonna wear this for a minute while we just look at the other bags that this fits in. Okay, here we go. So this is my Itsy Ritzy Mini, different brand. Still love this bag. Let's see if this fits in that front pocket. I know a lot of you that watch my channel love this bag. So it does, it fits in there and it does have space. This would probably, like you'd still be able to fit, whatever, lip gloss, um, your knife, whatever. If you put this in here, it does take up a lot of the room, but not like a ridiculous amount. So, and I know a lot of moms who are, I know a lot of you have your ginormous like Lily Jade wallet. This is not that, this is not that big. So I appreciate that it's in between like your, your typical Target wallet and your ginormous mom wallet. I don't carry any wallet right now. I just have loose cards in my bag, which is not good. <laughs> it makes it very difficult to find what I'm looking for. Okay, so this one, of course, this is the traditional. So this newer version has two zip pockets. This is the older version of this crossbody bag that has just the one single, so you can see it in this bag. I think it fits really well, obviously. This is the same, it's just got only one pocket. Let's look at it in the OG. So this is the black on black OG by Rad Rev. I carried this bag for a year when I first had this toddler sitting on the chair right behind me. And this bag, I love this bag so much. This is such a good size. I have a review on this if you're looking for it or if you're thinking about this for a diaper bag or just an everyday bag. This has, it's just the, the best size. It's been through a lot and it still looks really good. I like that it's a little bit squishy. I didn't think I would like that at first because my It's You It's You is so structured and I really appreciate that. But this has its place, you know? Like sometimes I just want it to be able to fit wherever I want it to fit. And I like that it's not, I don't know, it just feels very casual. So here we go. This fits in here like a dream. Lots of room left over. That is a nice thing about this bag. This front pocket is so big. Plus you have this slip pocket here. Plus there's still a hair tie in it. I haven't even used this bag for a minute, but there's still stuff in it. Now let's look at the OG mini and see how it fits in there. Great! What? So if we look at this front pocket, and this is what I carry every day. I'm currently... There's a toddler hiding behind my back in case you're wondering who's making those noises. That's her. <laughs> okay, so I carry this every day. I'm using the sand version right now that I did that video on just recently. I can link that also. But that fits beautifully in the front pocket. Oh, I even still have, wow, all kinds of things in here. I've got some gloss, a bag hanger, a coupon for a free taco. I don't have a wallet, I haven't had a wallet for a minute, and I've been putting off buying one because I just haven't found one that I like very much because I just feel like they take up too much space in my bag whenever I have one. So definitely looking forward to that. Let me talk about pricing on these. But yeah. yeah. Also, did you see the launch? The there's the launch that just happened, the pocket bag in rust, which is the bag that I just reviewed two videos ago in black, but now it's coming out in this really yeah. nice cognac type hey. color. Hi! Okay, the card wallet in lilac and the swing wallet are both still available on the website. So if you want this bag, don't... Hi! How are you? Hi! Don't wait. These are very nice bags. Okay, so the card wallet is $42. If you use the code I have in the link below, I think it gives you like $5 off. The Sling Wallet in Lilac is $70. Okay, $70. So again, use that code for a little discount. 
and why are you doing that? There are still a lot of very nice bags on her website and she is trying really hard to not have bags just sell out because each of the past few launches has sold out very quickly, like within minutes or hours if you're lucky. But this one is still around, so I know she's trying to get better at getting more stock so that she can keep them in stock. See, look what I'm talking about. She just stood right in the middle of my bag. It's fine. They just pop right back up. So she is trying to, she, she mentioned on her Instagram stories, her name is Mallory Boren. She owns Rad Rev Company. She started herself. It is a small business. And if you purchase from this company, you support her family. She mentioned that the smaller bags are easier to get a larger quantity of because they don't take as much space in her warehouse. So if it is a larger bag and you really want it, then I would be on that website as soon as launch happens. She lets you know it's the same time every Monday. So look at her Instagram stories and it'll let you know what time to be there. But the smaller bags seem like they're getting um, higher quantities now, so the sellout risk is a lot lower. Just a tip. If it's a bigger bag, you might want to be ready if you're wanting to buy that. But some of the colors, like the crazier colors, don't go as fast. It just depends on the color. There's still some burgundy bags on the on the website, and I'm kind of... I really thought that was a nice bag. So I was... But I think everyone else probably thought what I did. I was like, I don't... It's like the wrong time of year for me to be wearing a burgundy bag. So I don't think I'm going to be using that very much right now. But this color, this is like the perfect time of year for this. I'll give you some on the body shots next. Texture wise. I think I've already mentioned this, but this is a matte finish. So she has two types of finishes for her faux leather bags right now. Some of them come in this shinier faux leather that's a pebbled faux leather. And then this matte texture has more variation to the coloring and it's softer. This has not discolored at all. I've worn this lots of times. I haven't had my jeans rub off on it at all or anything like that, but I would be a little bit careful with this being such a light color. There is a chance that your jeans could rub off on this if you're wearing denim. Sometimes denim will discolor your bags where they rub on your hip. Sure, do you know what banana and apple slices? They're in the pantry. Okay. The strap itself can get pretty long. So that is nice. I tried to wear the pocket bag as a belt bag and I could not wear it. But if you are a little bit thicker than I am, then it will probably be very cute as a little belt bag. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for supporting my channel. Please hit the thumbs up and also the subscribe button so that I can make more videos for you. And let me know if there's a bag that you want to see more of. I'm planning to do a stash video of all of the bags that I have in my stash. I did declutter a few and I filmed a video about that, but I do, <laughs> don't mind, there are kids. I have kids, you know? If you didn't know that, I have four daughters and so when I'm looking at these bags, I'm thinking of you mothers, people who have kids. And I also have some more content that is not bag related, but our life is a sprint right now. We're right at the end of the year and soccer season, so there's just a million activities. So as soon as I have a chance to sit down and edit some videos, I've got lots of stuff coming for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And thank you again for being here. And I will see you in the next video. Have the best day. And I'll see you next time.